Hey everybody, how are you doing? Okay, this is my very first live and I'm really excited because it's a really important moment. I want you guys to meet the cast and the director of Where the Crawdads Sing. It's a new movie, it's coming out, Sony Pictures, July 22nd. July 22nd, right? July 15th. I meant that, July 15th. <laughs> I'm already not doing well. <laughs> um, but we're going to watch what happens when, you know, when people ask us questions. We're going to ask each other questions about what it was like to read the book and what it was like to make this amazing movie that you guys are so incredible in. This is, I mean, do you want to introduce yourself? How about everybody introduces themselves? Okay. Okay. I'm Taylor John Smith. I play Tate. I'm Daisy Edgar Jones. I play Kaya. I'm Libby Newman, and I play the director. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Reese Witherspoon, and I'm the producer. Um, okay, so let's ask some questions. Everybody, grab a card. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna ask Taylor the first question. Okay. Okay. Mainly because I keep staring at you, because I'm like, you look so familiar to me. You remind me of a guy I used to date in high school. We'll, we'll talk more on that later. later okay. Later. <laughs> What about the book did you fall in love with while you were reading it, and what made you think it would turn into a really great movie? Um, I think the, the first thing it reminded me of was Stand By Me, which was one of my favorite movies growing up, yes. um, Rob Reiner, and uh, had this beautiful like coming of age aspect to it, but then this romance that I didn't think I'd connect with initially, but that's what dragged me through to the very end was the, the love that Kai and Tate had for each other. And uh, it feels like a, an epic, an epic mm -hmm. movie, um, just with the, the way Delia wrote so beautifully, and then getting to uh, to actually see it for the first time as a as an audience member at Sony when we saw the screening, it was it was like a thank God I'm in this movie type of moment. Mm. Um, Did you know you look like somebody I used to date in high school? <laughs> I played I don't know if you know this I played the love child of you and uh, Ryan Philippi. No, you didn't. The Cruel Intentions pilot for NBC. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm seriously I'm blown away. I right play now. your kid, so. Well, that's what it is. <laughs> I, I, I thought it was something somebody. else, and now I got weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That, I see that, too, by yeah. the way. You kind of look like this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Libby, that's you want to ask a question? He reminds me of a young uh, Robert Redford. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll take that all day. <laughs> Bless you. Keep it coming. Seriously. <laughs> there's, that, there's that sound bite. Young Robert Redford. <laughs> Um, here is a question. Well, this is a question for you, Reese, because okay. I remember when you came to set. Okay. Um, I'm wondering, were there any beautiful or surreal moments um, where you felt like Kaya out in the marsh when you visited set? Um, well, when I walked into Kaya's uh, house that's so vivid in the book, I started to cry. <laughs> I was so moved um, by every shell and every feather and every picture that every artisan on this movie worked so hard to make that book come to life. And I think we are so lucky to work in a business where we work with so many talented painters and photographers and sound mixers and to watch people bring in their best work. Um, to, to have this story of this young woman who's just surviving like on her own in the wilderness was so beautiful and I was just really moved by that. It was very cool. Okay, Daisy, you're up. <laughs> Let's hear it. Okay, so this is for Reese and Livy. Can you share a little bit about your experience as a producer and a director and what did it mean to work with so many amazing women on this project? Mm, I'll let you take that first. Um, well, I will say, I mean, from the start when I first pitched to get the job, there, the, a big incentive was working with um, Hello Sunshine and 3000 Pictures. From my first meeting with Lauren and Erin, I felt these were incredibly smart, um, passionate, creative women, which, you know, you don't always find in producers and execs, but I certainly found that in this. And then as I met Elizabeth Gabler and then Reese, I just thought, how lucky am I to be surrounded by these powerhouse, um, incredibly smart and um, just driven and passionate um, storytellers in, in all their rights. Um, and so um, it was then, you know, just kept getting better because then when we were putting together our team of creatives to, you know, um, do our production design and costumes and cinematography, you know, we interviewed so many people and, um, the artists that really stood out um, as the best for the job happened to be women. And I think that's because, like all of us, we connected so deeply and instinctively to Kaya, um, to her experiences, um, you know, 
overcoming great obstacles, finding you know, her sense of self-worth, um, being the hero of her own story. Um, I think that there's just something that we all really related to and connected to in the book and wanted you know, uh, to bring to life in the most faithful and um, exciting way. So you know, it just happened to be all women, but I don't think it's a coincidence. Yeah. If that makes sense. It was just cool. It kind of came together so naturally that you were incredible when you were talking about what inspired you. And then Daisy, we saw your incredible audition. And I, I have to be honest, as a Southern woman, I was like, is she gonna nail this accent? Because <laughs> I am pretty tough. And I was like, wow. <laughs> she hadn't, you hadn't even trained. No, no. And you just auditioned with that accent, and it was amazing. Really? Oh, thank How'd you. you do that? I don't know. I mean, I, I like... <laughs> <laughs> do I it right know. now. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I mean, I, I actually grew up in a house with lots of accents. My, my mom's from the north of Ireland, so she had a very strong accent. My dad's Scottish. And I, um, and I actually, a lot of the characters I've played have had um, accents very different from mine, and I feel like it really opens up an, uh, an aspect of a character that I hadn't otherwise discovered and I think um, there was a real sort of lyricism to Kaya's voice and a gentleness to it which really helped me because I think as a character you know she is you know at, at times very tough and very resilient but she's also incredibly gentle and curious and, mm -hmm. and graceful and I think there is something in the accent that really helped me capture that you know so um so yeah but I um I did three different American accents last year and actually I found the North Carolina to be the easiest because I could really? actually he hear it you know I yeah. find like a general neutral accent quite hard because there's no edges to it it's mm. <laughs> like hard to like parameters yeah. or something like that yeah, what are the other two accents you had to do this year I had to do sort of a, a kind of um soft like um Idaho accent and then um I also had to do sort of a slightly Philly accent um, for oh, something else, like a more East like Coast. Like a mayor of East Town type yeah. thing? Not too strong. It was like a, with a hint, like a little like flavor of it, but How quite do you say water. I don't, I don't put me on water. <laughs> <laughs> My water is the one. It's like water in every water. different accent is so interesting. It is true. It's like mm -hmm. very different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm Should glad we ask more worked. questions? Yes. Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, okay, Reese. Taylor yeah. Swift does a new song in the movie. What was your reaction when you first heard Carolina? I freaked out yeah. <laughs> when I heard Taylor wrote a song for this movie. First of all, she's one of my favorite artists mm -hmm. of all time. But her songwriting um, is so moving and it's why she has millions and millions, millions, millions of fans across yeah. the world. But the fact that she read this book and loved it so much, and then she heard we were making a movie, she was making her folklore so album, sweet. and then she wrote a song with that whole folklore team, which was so haunting and magical, and um, the beautiful instruments they used. I was blown away. Yeah, Livy, what were you saying earlier about the instruments that they used? Oh, the yeah. Way? Well, she wrote this. I mean, I couldn't believe it either that she had gone and written this song out of just pure inspiration and sort of said, it, it, I, I don't know if you like it, but here it is, and wrote this gorgeous letter, you know, to us explaining how, you know, they had chosen instruments that were only available, you know, before 1953, and she recorded it in, in one take, the way they wow. recorded songs at the time, and um, and it was so. What was so haunting about it was that you have a very specific feeling when the book ends, which you know we really wanted to capture at the end of the movie as well. We wanted to leave audiences with that same sort of emotional feeling, and her song just leans right into that. So mm. when I the first time I listened to it, I just started bawling and I said, I don't know what is happening to me right now. <laughs> I mean, I love singing along to Taylor Swift songs, but I never like cry like this. And mm. I texted Elizabeth Gabler, I said, I don't know what's happening. I can't stop crying. I just listened to the song. <laughs> and Elizabeth wrote back, me too, Libby, it's so good. You know, we just were a mess. Um, so God, what a gift, yeah. what a gift, yeah. Taylor, what's your favorite um, Taylor Swift song? Oof. Probably Love Story. I'd Good say. choice. Yeah. <laughs> she was the first concert I ever went to. No way. Yeah, it was at the Delaware State Fair, I want to say, when I was like 12 or 13. The Delaware State Fair. Yeah, my aunt Fair? took me and my sisters, and she was had curly hair, just her and a guitar. It was great. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Biggest crush ever since. And then she wow. writes a song, and it's like full circle. My life is complete. Folklore was an album we listened to on the drive to and from set mm -hmm. almost every day. Mm -hmm. um, my assistant uh, Veronica and I were obsessed with, <laughs> with that <laughs> album and we would just, you know, roll down the windows and sing along to it really loudly. It's incredible. It was, it was, it's a great album. Daisy, yeah. what's your favorite song? Oh, it's actually really hard to pick. Um, you Belong With Me, I think. Because, like, you know, Taylor really, it, like, she like whenever I hear her music it reminds me so much of my childhood because it was like I think Love yeah. Story was the first time I remember like 
like falling truly in love with the song and like I would roll down the windows and belt that too. Yeah. <laughs> I felt like it captured everything I felt at the time and so yeah I mean it's incredible to, to have heard when I heard actually Caroline is actually probably now my second favorite it's or actually my first it's amazing and it really like you said truly captures the haunting quality of like that environment and Kaya as a character like it's such a stunning song and it couldn't be more perfect so I was similar I was sort of inconsolable when I heard it the whole way through <laughs> when the credits rolled I was like what yeah. yeah I mean talking about classic romance you guys what was it like to do those scenes where you were first kind of discovering love and did you like remember the first time you were in love when you were doing those those scenes well yeah. our first scene we shot was the initial meeting between Kai and Tate, mm. and that was our first day of filming, which made you know perfect sense. It was like the perfect jumping off point. And so there was this little bit of like timidness and, and nervous energy that the characters have, but also like the first day jitters of filming. Mm. Um, so it worked out perfectly. And then after that, it was just, just yeah. amazing. And there, there are some of my favorite scenes too, because Kai is so happy in those scenes. And you know, like, I, I think it's so moving the, the effect that Tate has on her life ultimately, you know, teaching her to read, it really opens up this whole sort of avenue in her future. And I think, yeah, I, I love, I love, I mean, I'm such a romantic, so <laughs> it was one of my favorite aspects of the book because the book yeah. is so many things, but I loved the, the romance aspect of it. So um, it was really fun to work. Yeah. It always felt like our ray of sunshine had arrived when Tate would, or when Taylor would arrive on set because, you know, there's a lot in this movie that's really, dark and and you know suspenseful heavy. and there's this mm. murder mystery and it's mm. heavy and then taylor would arrive and we'd say oh our ray of sunshine <laughs> is here and we get to you know enjoy and sort of dive into the the romance and it was, yeah. oh, it was poor so harris lovely. who isn't here i mean he just gets to play kind of the baddie no. he's the yeah. sweetest he's probably out, out of all of us though <laughs> he's probably the nicest he is, guy but he really is <laughs> Awesome. I guess we could ask more questions, yep. or should we? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Take this one. Thank you. Thank you. Mm, 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 mm. And this one's boring. <laughs> Paper cut. Paper cut. Uh, Daisy, you want to? Well, who wants to? Okay, Daisy. Well, you had to um, shoot this movie in the South. Did you get to try any Southern food that you really liked? I did. I love food, generally. <laughs> so I love, that was a real cool aspect of being in New Orleans, actually. Um, I remember you took me for hush puppies. That was really fun. Um, yeah. And they weren't what I expected. I don't know. I thought they were like a pudding, but they were really, they were so... Like a pudding? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pudding <laughs> Pudding is a general word for dessert at home. Oh, right. So okay. I thought, but they were really tasty. So what were they like well, in English culture? Like, what would you, like, what's the English equivalent of a hush puppy? I don't even, I don't even know we if we have one you don't have a fried they're... piece of bread <laughs> not really i mean it's like a mushed up piece of cornbread and then you fry it no you know what i mean that. No. we have bread and butter pudding that's a that's a bready based pudding i guess but other than that not really but i also loved um biscuits and gravy and like shrimp and grits i i like fully just loved the the cajun food that we got to eat it was amazing yeah very cool mm -hmm. what's your favorite southern dish my favorite what southern dish Pardon me? Southern dish. <laughs> um, my favorite Southern food is probably shrimp and grits. Mm -hmm. I really like shrimp and grits. Mm -hmm. What about you, Taylor? I, I had that for breakfast a couple times. Is, is that weird that I had that it's for a breakfast? It's a little weird. Okay. <laughs> um, spicy. I love the, spicy in the morning. It, it, yeah, I mean, but I, when it's on the menu. I'm with like, coffee okay. or with like orange juice? Oh, or? No, I, just, I forget. It was just on the menu. And I was like, this felt right. And <laughs> I don't know if it was a mistake or not, but it was delicious. Crawfish boils were fun. It's like an yes. all-day event. It's okay, a tell party. me you did that. You did. Yeah. Your we went to a couple. Did a crawfish we did that. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Although they Try take that. an awful long time to unwrap, and then by the time you do, you're very hungry, and they're only about that big. So. I know. Yes. <laughs> she had a hard time getting like the claws. That so wasn't she very would good. Stick to the the body and. <laughs> you know, you eat the claws. Do you eat the claws? You can get the meat out. You of the can claws. get the meat out. It's, yeah. it's work though. It's but hard it's work. Kind of working but it's honest supper, work, which is nice, it, and it goes on for hours because it's so much work. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of animals, didn't y'all have like all these weird animal experiences on set? Yeah, I would say one of the craziest <laughs> things was uh, we were filming the scene at the end, and my character Tate's in waders, and the water's up to like his chest, and there's a. Um, uh, walkie-talkie in the boat next to me so I can hear the wildlife wrangler and he, he starts whispering um, that there may or may not be a gator floating near me um, and then I hear rolling and I'm like wait what and he's like, if, it, if it looks bigger than like five six feet maybe hop back on land but you, you look good for now and then rolling and then action and all I'm seeing out of the corner of my eyes is it looks like a giant log just oh, slowly oh, no. drifting past and then the log started blinking and I, <laughs> I, yeah. 
probably one of the scary moments of my life. <laughs> and was that during like a romantic scene or? Thank God it was not. Okay. No, I'm just collecting samples in the marsh. <laughs> okay. yeah. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, what about you, Daisy? A lot of, well, I, I yeah, I, one of the sort of um, most traumatic experiences of filming was one of the nights I, I actually had two uh, experiences where I was cleaning my clothes and I, I took my clothes out the tumble dryer and um, a, a perfectly dried, clean cockroach um, fell to the floor. That freaked me out. And then another time I was in the shower, very vulnerable, and I got out of the shower and I stood directly on a cockroach. Um, that, that was that was it. Was it, it the it, same it, one that you dried? Well, I you came back for seconds. Back like, yeah. Very He's grateful like, for the wash. Yeah, no. It's <laughs> after you though, yeah. No, but the wildlife there was unbelievable. It's pretty like, amazing. Yeah, I mean, we, we had sort of, one of the days we took um, a kayak and we kayaked through the, the bayou and, and it was just amazing. We came back at night and you could see the orange glow of all the alligators mm. along, like their eyes along oh, the marsh. Oh, that's not cute. Yeah. Yes, their eyes glow <laughs> nice orange. Nice from afar. Their eyes glow Do orange. You? But they, they shine this flashlight so you can see where you're going on your kayak and you just see all these little orange It's like cat eyes almost, up lighting up in the yeah. middle of the night. You're like, there's a lot of you out here and four of us. <laughs> we're in your house right now, it's a little <laughs> scary. Yeah, it was incredible. Uh, it was also surprising how loud it is at night, right? I, I just remember the first time we shot at night and it was just this cacophony of sounds and mm. I realized that's, and Delia writes about it in the book, but. Um, you know, there's that scene when she's um, a young girl and she's left completely alone. And um, there's this beautiful line, um, you know, that it was the feeling was so vast it echoed. And then she drags her little mattress out onto the front porch. Mm -hmm. And I realized shooting it that it was because there was so much sound in the marsh that she felt less alone mm -hmm. the closer she could get to it. Right. Um, and there's this one little tiny teeny frog that sounds like a sheep. Yes. I and I kept that. the first time what? I heard it I said, Where are the sheep? I think <laughs> like, where is this coming from? And it was coming from the tiniest little Isn't that so weird? It's bizarre. That those tiny frogs are so loud. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, I was not. Speaking of tiny frogs, <laughs> I think we're gonna play a game. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great segue. Guys, I feel like I have my own talk show. <laughs> <laughs> but that's for one time only. It's literally just this one time only. I think you would be really good I at know, it. Where do you think I should have my talk show? Like what streamer should it be on? Should it be on like Bravo? Should it be on like, I don't know, Netflix? Yes. Apple. <laughs> Apple. <laughs> hint, hint. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah, we're yeah. gonna do Pictionary. Should we do Picture? Okay. Awesome. Oh. Team good guys versus oh, guy. you yeah. people. Yeah. Okay. No. I'm terrible. Those are the Pictionary okay. cards. Okay, everybody get a pad. Everybody get a marker. I haven't drawn with markers. So these are the Pictionary cards. Oh. Yeah. So you have to draw a card. Okay. And then you have to draw a picture of whatever the word is, and you have to get us to guess okay. your word. All right. Okay, so we're getting you to guess our word. Taylor is gonna pick <laughs> up a card, and then he has, there's a word on there. It could be like, hot dog. Okay. And he has to draw a picture of it, and we have to guess while he's drawing it. All, all three of us. All yeah, three? I think okay. so. I think that'd be nice. I think so. Okay, okay great. Yeah. 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 Guess what? Competitive. This is my talk show, we can do whatever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Let's I got just the have first some one. Fun. Are you ready? Competitive, yeah. Let's see how one. good you are, okay. <laughs> start the timer. Oh wait, start the timer. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. What is this? Feather. Feather. Oh, wow, you guys oh. are good. Time. Uh, okay, well, I think we both got it. That's amazing. That's you guys were good. Are you cheating? Are you <laughs> okay, Daisy, you're up. Me? Where, where are the cards? Oh, they're, right. they're, okay, they're the same cards. Don't show they're right anybody. Okay. Okay. Oh, you gotta put it out here so we can see it. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, we gotta set the timer. Okay. I'll try and do it here so everyone. Okay. Oh, that's backwards. Oh. Is it your weird cat that you draw? Uh, <laughs> a foot. Footprints. A leaf. Uh, uh, the cat. Oh, it's, oh no. An alligator. Oh, no. a oh it's a, an egg. Yes. Uh. <laughs> what? A shell. A shell? That's a shell? I um, mean, it's a stretch. Looks like a strawberry as well. <laughs> I could see maybe an oyster. Yeah, it's got a personality. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a personality. I was doing it from upside down, to be fair. It's a strawberry. <laughs> Strawberry. It looks like a ghost from Pac-Man. Uh, Turn yeah, it the other way. It does. Yes, it does. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's like All a right. Ghost. Moving it down the road. Here it goes, people. Oh Lord, why did I get the hardest? <laughs> Here it goes. Are you ready? And I'm gonna try to do Daisy Edgar Jones. Wait. Can you just run the timer? Okay. And action. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think I'm gonna do this. 
is green a choice or is that all that was left? You know what? You're asking a lot of questions. Just start guessing. Oh, it's a paddle. Uh, it, a no. dragonfly. Yes! Yes! Oh, that was I good. have to continue though because don't they have the cutest little eyes? Well done. Dude, there were a lot oh, of dragonflies. Dude. So cute. Yeah, I like it. It's for you. It's so pretty. If you were a marshy animal, what would you be? Because that was a very marshy animal. I'd probably be a dragonfly. Look at that. Oh, it's that. beautiful. How cute it is. Okay, I'm going to stop on my drawing. Libby, it's your turn. All right. Ready? Go. Oh, wait, I don't have a word. Oh. oh. <laughs> go, go, go. I get that time back. Oh, boy. You're going to cancel my talk show, guys. <laughs> there is some controversy around how these are drawn. And okay. Lauren Neustadter and I have very different opinions, but I'm going to okay. draw the Lauren Neustadter version. Hot dog. <laughs> a eggplant. A very a bicep. This is an eggplant. <laughs> Oh, it's a product. Oh, uh, tapple. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> um, it's going south. What's the, what's the controversy well, about my, how it's drawn? This is what they look like cooked. Okay. The mm. Lauren is from New Orleans, so she... Does it have a claw? I draw it like a little lobster, which I'm not going to be able to... Wait, show the people. But, you know. That looks like a like candy cane. That? <laughs> wow. The, either one just yeah, looks horrible. Yeah, this is why I don't have <laughs> my own storyboard. <laughs> because I, 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 Thank I'm gosh. Got for the art department. Okay. Something yeah. like that. <laughs> All right. Should we do one more round? Yep. One more round. Right. Okay. Go, Taylor. Who's winning? None of us. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. I'm going to try and do it upside down so everyone can see. Okay. okay. And we're gone. Go. Up. A tree. Yes, but more kind. An angel oak. Oh, a live oak. Six oh, more trees. Oh, a willow. Yes. Nice. Oh, well done. Nice. nice. Looks like oh, so a, really lovely. Hey, thank you. Yeah. Practicing in, in the green room. Okay. <laughs> you guys have spent a lot of time together. Yeah. <laughs> it feels slightly unfair. Okay, this is actually hard. Okay. For me. Okay, right. This is hard or hot? Okay. It's quite hard. Okay. Um, square. <laughs> Credit card. A house. <laughs> Credit card. Shack. A computer. Porch. TV. Shack. Oh, Hi, a shack. It's, it's a Did I cheat there? Aww. <laughs> I cheated a bit. That was very impressive. It's not screened in yet, though. It really Can doesn't look like it. It's also the I'll only keep, square I'll thing in nature going on to this. exist. <laughs> I'll keep going as you. Are you as sure it's on a laptop? <laughs> <laughs> it's a oh, I like your perspective. I'll um, I'll keep drawing it as we as we. Okay, yeah, please continue. We'll be Don't wrapping that off at yeah. the end. Even though the, you know, the people are alive. Okay, <laughs> let's do this. I still like my dragonfly. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay. Are you guys ready? All right. I'm going to need some vocalization on this. <laughs> a nut. A boat. Oh, uh, a, Keep it is clean. it a pot? Is it a pot? <laughs> Keep it clean. Uh, a drum. Oh, it's a hot tub. <laughs> a boat. <laughs> yes! Wow. Aww. I was thinking a hammock oh. next. Yeah. What kind of boat is that? What? You know, it's an, with an outboard motor over here, Taylor. Oh, yes. I'm not <laughs> sure if you understand that yeah. this is, you know, there's the propeller. Oh. Oh, I see. Yes. Yeah. It built to withstand the waves. Fishing bed. That one. <laughs> awesome. Nailed it. I'm starting to get the theme, and I don't think there's yeah. a hot tub. I think it's <laughs> high yeah. <end> world. <laughs> <laughs> so. Hot tub. Time machine. Hot tub. Okay. Time Stay on theme here. Ready? Oh, gosh. Okay. Last one for the win. Last one. A bird. Yes. Mm. A big oh, red. A uh, big uh, Cooper's hawk. A Cooper's oh, hawk? What's that? A seagull. Oh, a seagull. Oh, 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 oh look at his little extra tail. Things. Yeah. This is, what's coming out? Oh, it's back at you, maybe. Oh, it's, it's <laughs> That's the wake. Oh, it's his other tail. It's the second wing. I was trying to add some perspective. I like that. I always hire storyboard artists. Yeah. It gets very confusing. Yeah. That was really good. Daisy kind of finished Kaya's shack. Do you want to show him? Oh, Let me see Kaya's shack. That was me. Hey, was... <laughs> Come on. I didn't. Oh, it's so it, it looks yeah. exactly it's like it. It's uncanny. <laughs> it's really uncanny. I did storyboard art for this actually. <laughs> <thing. laughs> so we're not going to give up our day jobs. Perfect. Yeah. Um, but you guys, do you want to, like, before we end the live, like, I just want to say, like, people don't know what the book's about. They haven't read the book, maybe. A lot of people have read the book. But if they haven't, what should they expect in, like, you know, it's it's got many aspects to it. It's this beautiful like coming of age story. It's this murder mystery, this who done it, and then this beautiful beautiful romance that's that's sprinkled all throughout. Um, and it's kind of about this this girl who grows up uh, in the marsh, abandoned against all odds. She survives, and then she's accused of a murder. 
And I think that, you know, you can expect, like, it, it really, it, it takes you on such a journey. You know, the, this murder mystery aspect of it keeps you gripped, but there's also just such a love letter to nature and to, um, and to also, like, human connection and, and, and relationships and how much someone's kindness can um, fundamentally change life for the better. And it's just a beautiful story, and I think, I think it's a really great one to see in the cinemas, too, um, because, you know, it's hard to ignore the beauty of that nature, and it, I think the cinematography of this film really captures it so well. So, um, yeah, I'm excited for people to see yeah. it. Reese, why did you want to turn this into a movie? You know what? I just think women are... Um, well, first of all, I love the book. I think it's incredible. Um, it's a story about a woman surviving, and I think women saving themselves every single day. And I think, um, I think it's important for people to see that in film, you know, and really, really understand that you can be the savior or the hero of your own story. And I'm excited for people to see that. Mm -hmm. What about you, Libby? Um, I found the ending completely unexpected. Mm -hmm. uh, when I read the book, I was blown away by the ending. And the ending is everything. Mm -hmm. Without that ending, it's a very different story. Um, and so I really can't wait to, to hear the chatter <laughs> at the end of the movie. You know, I, I remember we talked about um, we talked about some films as comps that have that sort of surprise ending and and keep you chatting as you're leaving the theater. And so mm. that's what I can't I can't what wait. What movie did you reference? Um, uh, uh, oh my gosh! I always think like, presumed innocent. No, it was, but it was like that. Yeah. It was. Um, oh my goodness! I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure you guys remember. Primal Fear. I was going to say Primal, primal Fear. Was primal very Fear. Unexpected. That last get minute of the Edward movie Edward. when he you turns. Mm. Oh, yeah, so good. Wow. It all comes to light. Yeah. Um, I it, think you guys have done a great job. Like you start this movie, you do not know who did this crime. When you find out the end, it is so fascinating. Yeah. And there's love, and there's romance, and there's murder, and there's suspect and intrigue, and great acting, and good chemistry, guys. Yes. Very <laughs> nice. um, so anyway, I just want to thank you for doing this. This is my very first TikTok Live. Well done, Reese. Yeah. Well, well done. done. Maybe we should do it at the premiere? <laughs> yeah, right? good. People might want Not to come opposed. That, right? Not opposed to it. Anyway, I want you guys to um, just stay tuned. July 15th, Where the Crowd Ads Sing is coming out in theaters near you. I hope you love it as much as we loved making it. Yeah. Thank you Thank so much. You. Oh, guys, do you want to see the trailer? Here it is. In town, they tell the story of the Marsh Girl, the one who grew up alone in the wild but they never really knew me. Like most stories, the facts don't weigh into it. I didn't know how to do life. You didn't see me here. I was better off learning from the marsh. Hello, Miss Kyle. I hear y'all by muscles. No, they never did see me here. The marsh taught me how to survive but it couldn't teach me everything. You can't live alone in the marsh forever. Watch me. All right. Into the mist, into the clouds. It's dangerous to live out here alone like this. I'm fine. You're something else, ain't you? Miss Catherine Clark is charged with the murder of Chase Andrews. Prosecution has announced it will seek the death penalty. I'm going to get out of here, one way or the other. Be careful. You're by your lonesome out there. I will not live in fear. There were no footprints, fingerprints, nothing. Someone destroyed evidence. I know you have a world of reasons to hate these people. No, I never hated them. They hated me. You want me to beg for my life? I won't. It's a dangerous world, isn't it? I don't know if there is a dark side to nature. Just inventive ways to endure. Against all odds.